we are going to read a love story and it's Love Z and it's written by Jesse Zelma. Love Z. Oh, he's a little robot. Very cute. On a bright chilly day, Z went out looking for adventure and stumbled upon a piece of half buried treasure. Inside was a message, too smudged to read, except for two words at the very bottom. Love, Patrice. The young robot did not know what love meant or who Patrice was, but they felt very important. So Z tucked the treasure away and headed towards home. As the night fell, all the robots prepared to power down and recharge for the next day. Z asked for a bedtime story and a nightlight and a good night kiss. Tucked snugly in bed, Z thoughts drifted back to the important treasure. What is love? asked the young robot. Does not compute, replied an old rusty robot. Then they said, sweet dreams, and turned out the lights. Alone in the dark, Z could not sleep. The other robots had always been able to answer Z's questions. If they did not know what love meant, who would? Maybe there was one person. In the morning, Z went out looking for Patrice. Hello, I'm looking for Patrice, explained Z. I want to know what love is, and she will have the answer. And so they did. Unsure of how to start Z's quest. Unsure of how to start a quest, Z asked around. Excuse me, are you Patrice? Are you Patrice? asked the turtle. Hello, are you Patrice? No, said a voice. What is a Patrice? We are on a quest to find out what love is, explained Z, and Patrice will have the answer. I don't know any Patrice, said the crow, but to me, love is sharing my food, even when it's delicious. That did not compute, but Z thanked the crow anyway and changed courses towards a place with delicious food. <gasps> Bread! The baker did not know Patrice either, but she was happy to share what love meant to her. Love was when someone is patient and takes the time to teach you new things. That did not compute but Z thanked the baker anyway and changed course towards a place with a teacher. The kids at recess had a lot of thoughts what love meant. Love is butterflies. Love is sweaters. Love is wishing upon a star. Love is lawn gnomes. Love is a million puppies. Love is a snowflake on my tongue. Absolutely none of them computed, but Z thanked the students anyway and had no idea what to go in search of. What if love was something a robot just could not compute? Z was about to suggest that they change course towards home 
when they stumbled upon a good place to spend the night. Hello, we are on a quest. Oh, never mind. Hello, I'm Patrice, said the woman. Z could not believe their luck. He had found her. What are you doing out there in the cold, asked Patrice. Looking for you, explained Z. I wanted to know what love is, and I thought you would have the answer. Patrice paused to think. She thought and thought and thought some more. Love is difficult to explain. It's warm, it's cozy, and safe. You'll know it when you feel it. Z hoped she was right. It's getting late, said Patrice. Let's get some rest. The young robot was preparing to power down and recharge for the next day. When, what do you think happened? The old rusty robots arrived unannounced. Look, they all came. Z, you were gone and we were worried. But we found you. We brought your favorite bedtime story and your nightlight and a good night kiss. Tucked snugly in bed, Z felt warm and cozy and safe. It was the feeling the young robot had felt many times before. Hmm, what was that feeling? But now it had a name. What was its name? Do you know? Love Z. He knows what love is now. I hope you enjoyed the story. Tune in next time.